You know, if it's one thing I detest in this world, it is a hypocrite. And it is so much worse when it's a lying, selfish hypocrite. Some of you may have seen what I'm going to be talking about on Jimmy Dore around the end of November. But I'm going to cover this in a very different way. There is a little tiny town just west of Jacksonville, Florida, called Baldwin. And it's a tiny dot on a map. It says 1,600 people. Maybe. Maybe in the surrounding regions. Well, they have a unique distinction now here in Florida. For those of you that are unaware of kind of the lay of the land, so to speak, Jacksonville being the largest geographic city in the whole country, has these outlying regions. And while inside the Beltway, meaning inside 295 here, it's pretty liberal. Out here, when you get outside the city, this is solid red, solid Trump country. In fact, I think in the last election, it was 68% or 70% of the people voted for, for Trump. And that's just kind of the way it is. Now, they can have their opinions all they want and vote whoever they want into office. But when you sit and listen to these people decry, quote-unquote, evil, terrible, horrible socialism, and then you see what they did, you're going to be nauseated. And the reason they did it is absolutely even worse. Now, here's the story. Let me see if I can bring this up real quick. This is from Jacksonville.com. Baldwin opens rare town-run grocery store to fill <gasps> food gap. The poor, poor old Trumpanzies of Florida worked hard their whole life. And now the local IGA closed down and nobody's taking over the property. What are they to do? Oh, brother, you know what they do? They do exactly what Venezuela does. Town-run grocery store. The city bought it, fixed it up with tax money, and now they run it. And these people are just ecstatic, bragging about how successful it is. About how wonderful it is to have this bastion of socialism in the middle of Trump country. Now, the reason they did it, the reason they did it, is because it's cheaper. Yep, that's right. It's cheaper for them to go to the socialist city-run grocery store than it is to drive the incredible long prohibitive distance of nine miles to the local Walmart. Now, am I a giant fan of Walmart? No. But to take advantage of something for yourself that you would prohibit everyone else doing on a national level? That is horrible. These people in Baldwin aren't poor. These people in Baldwin aren't just barely scraping by. These areas on the outskirts of Jacksonville out here the median housing is about a quarter of a million to 300,000 for houses out here. And let me show you this little dot on a map and how these uh, poor people were suffering. And I have something, oh, by the way, to put a cherry on the top of this Sunday that is going to absolutely blow your mind. Now, this is it. This is the entire town of Baldwin. Okay, now, they have a Dollar General, which, of course, you can't just live with a Dollar General. I get that. But they're right on Highway 10. Right here is a Winn-Dixie. That's how far away it is. They literally could get on the highway and drive for maybe seven minutes, and they would be at a Winn-Dixie. 
There's a Publix all the way over here. Maybe another five minutes. This is a Walmart right here. You see, the sickening part about this is that these people aren't hurting. These people out here are doing fine financially. But because they insist on having cheap groceries, literally a stone's throw from their house, socialism's okay for them, isn't it? They had no problem with socialism when it saves them money. Makes their life easier, but anyone else? Wasn't that the big knock on uh, in the last governor's race? Gillum ran against DeSantis. And supposedly Gillum, you know, this evil, terrible, horrible, socialist Democrat. And like once again, I'm not advocating for parties here. I'm advocating for ideas. See, for them here in Baldwin, it was great 70% of them to vote for the current leader who decries socialism every chance he gets a chance. But you see, when nobody's looking, when nobody's paying attention in their backyard, oh yeah, to save them money, sure, they'll go all sorts of socialist. While preventing everyone else from taking advantage of the same thing. That's the sick part about this. Congratulations, people of Baldwin for being just about the worst hypocrites in the world. And, you know, and this is the thing about these people, these elderly people of Baldwin, they're not walking to the store and, oh no, there's not a store now, I can't walk to the... No. That is not what's going on in Baldwin. Baldwin is populated by people that live out here, out in the country. They're walking, they're taking the city bus down to the, the grocery store and carrying their bags by hand. Uh, no, uh-uh. They got a Winn-Dixie literally right here. They got a Publix here. They got a Walmart here. There's people that live down by me. I live farther south toward the Palm Coast region that have to drive orders of magnitude much farther to get to a Walmart or get to a grocery store. It ain't that big a deal. That's just part of Florida. And on top of that, on top of that, Walmart and Publix deliver. You can literally go right to the website and type it up and they'll bring it to your house. You don't even have to leave. And these, like I said, we're talking 10 minutes Maybe by car. You wouldn't even have to get on the highway. You could be there in 10 minutes from Baldwin to the Walmart and McClenny. Or to the Winn-Dixie out here. To say that nationally, no, 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 we can't have socialism. But then in your backyard, when nobody's looking to become a literal Venezuelan bastion, to save and to do it, to not because there wasn't grocery stores. They just weren't cheap enough and convenient enough for you, Trump voter. And yeah, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't live in Baldwin, Florida, but this is my point. Is that it, you? I guess you would just have to live here to understand this. To drive by these houses and see how wealthy these people are driving around in suburbans and Yukons and the penny pinching nature that they think somehow that voting for this billionaire elitist from Manhattan makes them some kind of patriot is just ridiculous. I mean, oh, I almost forgot about the cherry on top of the Sunday. You ready for this, guys? Taking a look here at Baldwin, I noticed something. Do you know what this is? Yep, you guessed it. It's a giant solar farm. Solar power? <gasps> oh no, we can't have that. 
we can't have alternative energy. So on top of having a socialist grocery store, while voting 3 to 1 for Mr. Anti-Socialism, they get their power from a solar farm. Or at least some part of it. Nauseating, sickening, disgusting hypocrisy. Because of all the people in Florida that could use an edge, could use something like this to maybe state-run grocery store, to provide low-cost goods and jobs. These are the last people that should be in line for that. This is a very nice white bread, yeah, I'm going to say it, area. These people aren't poor. These people aren't even middle income. Anywhere, anywhere else in the country, they'd be, they'd be quite well off. They're quite well off down here. And that's the disgusting part. The governor, current governor of Florida, is from here. This is Ponte Vedra Beach, or Ponte Vedra, he's from, this is Ponte Vedra Beach. The median income here, the median income, average income, $177,000 a year. This is TPC Sawgrass, the Players' Championship. This is where the governor of Florida is from. Do you think that really represents the people of Florida? Some guy like that could really identify. You know, maybe now. Maybe if the idea is representing the rich, the super rich, the super wealthy. Yeah, I probably should stop before I say something worse. It's just nauseating. Absolutely nauseating and disgusting. Four options within 15 minutes, but they've got to take advantage of a state-run grocery store, pardon me, city-run grocery store, so that it's more cheap and convenient while voting to prohibit the rest of the country from doing it. Like, share, subscribe.